Welcome to Pins and Things. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make these adorable no-sew aprons for kids. So today is gonna to be a little bit different. I am still on the mend from getting my tonsils out. So we're just gonna make some aprons for the kids, have a lot of fun doing it, and they're gonna help me with it so that we can make an awesome video for you guys. I really wanna stay on top of making the videos for you guys and I don't wanna miss out on anything. So I'm here by myself today, so I will be filming without Michael and hopefully we'll be able to make a really good video for you. So while the kids are playing, Maybe not playing so nicely. So while most of the kids are playing, I am going to show you what inspired me to make these aprons in the first place. I was able to find some little kid aprons at the dollar store and I was like, sweet, I'll just buy these four aprons and then I won't have to make any. <laughs> But the problem is they are such low quality that they fell completely apart. So here's one that hasn't fallen apart yet. And it's just this little really cute pattern and Mom, it's look. just the right size for kids. But this one's broken and it's mine. That's right. So it's just made super cheap quality, very, very thin material. And it has that bit of white there. Yeah. So I went to the store and I found material that I liked that I think the kids will like too. They will be able to pick whatever color they want and then we can get started making these aprons with them. I especially want to make sure that we are able to make it a no sew tutorial so the kids can help me. I was able to find this really adorable material. I picked this one for me and this one is for Ellie because it's got pink on it. Yay! All right, Corbin, now we've got four left. What one is your favorite? This one. You want that one? Yeah. Okay, that one's for Corbin. I got a whole yard of each of the different types of material, which is way more than I actually need. But for right now, I've got the kids watching movie downstairs, just enjoying themselves, so that I can cut them out and get them ready for them to glue together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is lay it out with the white side up. And now I have my kid's apron and I'm just gonna place it right on top of the material and use as little as I can so that we can make sure to have plenty of extra material so that I can make some big ones later. So I'm just laying it flat and now it's time to cut it out. And actually I'm gonna trace around the outside edge first. So the first one we're working on is James's and of course we're using this as a pattern and I just finished tracing it all out. So now it's it's just a matter of cutting out our pattern and cutting out all the rest of those ones too. a no sew project what I have is some fray check to go around the outside edge of the entire apron now that I've got the bulk of it cut out I have a piece of cardboard and my fray check and I'm just slowly going around the outside edge with just a tiny bit of fray check so that I won't have to hem the edges and I like this project because you don't have to have a sewing machine at all to do it and you can do this with any sized apron you don't have to do a little kids apron either so the length is about this long for the apron yes, string okay. so I'm gonna double it over and now we know exactly how long it needs to be we're gonna take some liquid stitch and this is pretty much like glue but you don't need to sew and it's super strong when you're done so it's perfect so I'm gonna put a little bit of the liquid stitch right here and let's put a little bit of the liquid stitch on this part too now put those pieces together yeah. like that good now we just make sure it's pushed together really well and let it dry so now I've done the exact same thing that I did right here over here and I'm going to measure the strings that go on the very top of the apron and do the exact same thing up here First apron is done! Charlie, this one's yours. Come here. Come. I like that it's like adjustable strings in the back. It's not like one loop because I noticed that when you have one loop, sometimes it fits and sometimes it, it's too big. Those of you who have never used liquid stitch, this is how it turns out when you're done. It pretty much just fuses the two fabrics together, whatever you're gluing together. It looks really nice and it's super, super strong. This is just as strong as sewing. After I 
put all of the liquid stitch on. I put them away on my bed for a little while and I let them just sit there and dry for about a half an hour and at that point they were done. It's so amazing because they're so easy. I will have a link in the description below where you can get all of the materials that are needed for this project. And if you have more time and more energy, it would be actually really fun to add a little pocket onto the front of these aprons because I think kids would enjoy that too. If you want to make a pocket, just cut out a square and use liquid stitch around three edges and fray check along the other edge. You look beautiful. Do you like your apron? Yes. Did you guys like your apron? Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to see more of these adorable children of mine, yes, they're all mine. <laughs> you can watch The Beach House over here. And if you want to see more of my crafts, you can click over here. See you guys next time.